So to change the sharing permissions you select the folder, go up to share and you click on private, you change that to anyone with link. So anyone with link can view and you save. Then this is the link that you're going to use in your Moodle course. But what you have to do is go back to the folder, select all the files by clicking the little box at the top and then you've got to change the share permissions back to private. This is for the files. So just change private and go save. Now when we look at one of them, let's look at Albert's. And we'll go up to sharing and you'll see that it's shared with Albert, the teacher, and otherwise it's private. So what this means is when Albert looks into this folder he will only see his own file and none of the others. In Moodle I use an assignment to handle the feedback and the grading and also provide a link to the student. So to do that turn your editing on. Here I have an assignment but the way I added it was click add an activity resource assignment and add. I'll cancel that and show you the settings page though so you would go normally to this page there are the instructions and there is a link to the Google Doc folder remember the one that I shared initially so when I look at the link that link there is the link that you get when you look at the sharing settings that one there so copy and paste that into there open a new window and you've got it the rest of the settings are basically make everything no apart from feedback comments so I make that yes I select a grading scale and the completion conditions I make to must receive a grade. The student logs into Moodle goes to their assignment and there's the link waiting for them they click on the link, nothing will appear unless they're logged in, so a good idea to have them logged in first. They will see their document and only their document. They click on it and get the preview and then open it and then they can do their thing. That will be automatically saved so there's no hassle from that point as well. The quickest way to access the student work is to go directly to the assignment folder, use the last modified to work out which one you've last accessed, open the file, if you need to comment on anything select the text and then use right click comment, that places a comment right next to the text you want to comment on, once you've added the comment press comment, you could always edit, delete or resolve the comment later. So to add general feedback or overall feedback you can use Moodle. Go to your assignment page, you won't see any submitted work, just go view grade all submissions. On this page you won't see much at this stage so you just go to your grade icon and there you can select the grade from the drop down box and you can add your general comment in the text box. Then you can either go through all of them, so save and show next, or you can save changes and go back to the assignment page. Now this grade is kept, and comment, is kept on the assignment page. So if we go back to the summary page, you get it there. The students can also see the grade on their assignment page, as well as seeing it in their gradebook.